Queen Deja and in today's video I will be reacting reading to episode 15 and 16 of Squid Girls. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 2, I mean episode 2, episode 3 of season 2. So let's go ahead and, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, that's loud in my ear. Huh. What well, dang on it? <laughs> Cause Inca. For Alex. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like me. When I got my Nintendo Switch and my dog was so upset with me. <laughs> my mom was like, Will you put that thing down and play with your dog? You look cute. Yeah, so they can get to know each other and bond. <laughs> he did. Have fun. Get him, Alex. Hmm. Yeah, just like you. <gasps> ah. <laughs> yep, gotta sniff the butt. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Remember, I said follow him. Now hold up, it feels like y'all making, you making her loss on purpose. Oh, Jesus. Don't be 
I meme him. Thank you, finally! Oh, come on, Alex. Your shoe. Cody. Oh, my God. This is Cody. No, don't be so hard on him. <laughs> Excuse me. Boy, yeah, it's Rip, but look, it, he's sorry. No, no, baby, it's okay. You did a good job. It's complicated. Get Alex some medicine as well. Well, back to square one. No, it was it just, you know, Alex got jealous.
Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, it's cute. <laughs> Were you watching? <laughs> sure, baby. Morning exercises. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, get that little burst of energy. Dang. <laughs> what well, to snap you out of it, of course. Excuse me. <laughs> exactly, and then you know, be a part of it. Don't just watch on the sideline. Lord Jesus, Lord, oh! hell no. Nah. <laughs> this girl just went the shit out of these kids. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, baby, the sweets aren't going to be shrimp. Thought she was shit. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Inka. All the way out there. Right. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. It's almost three thirty in the morning. I'm sleepy. How am I go to sleep after I'm done watching this? Well, both these episodes, and I edit. Of course it is. Damn, she ate it without no fucking problem. She didn't even feel guilty about it, even though he said you can have it. Damn, Inca. He's right. <laughs> no. You're basically like just going around. Some kids do things that you don't like. Uh uh. It's like that. I know. <laughs> yeah. So basically, like, <laughs> in other words, you're cock blocking. <laughs> Inca! Oh my god, hey. Now you're just overusing your privilege, daughter. It is. Hence why what the frick is going on in the world now. Jesus. It's glass, isn't it? Yeah, but I think she just got some glass.
No. Basically, baby, you just got fired. Oh, those kids. Alex in the ending. Okay, so I'm still a little hopeful that her and Alex can have a good relationship by the end of this series. Because, you know, hey, I mean, that's Sane's mom in a nutshell. You know, that's his owner. And, you know, Inca's Inca and Sane's <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so hopefully they learn to get along. Um, the morning exercise thing was very interesting. I do like that. I've never been one who has tried that because, you know, like I say, um, on the days that I am off of work, sometimes I don't wake up until like one o'clock in the afternoon. Excuse me. And I immediately get started with my day. Or if it's on a day that I do have to work, I will wake up sometimes between 11 and 12 o'clock. Uh you know, get dressed, take my puppy out, do whatever, and that kind of wakes me up. We all do different things that's going to kind of wake you up. Or sometimes, before I come out of bed, I will sit on Twitter, TikTok, whatever, just to give myself some energy and wake myself up and such. I do like the fact that, you know, Inka was a lifeguard for a day. She wasn't the greatest. Let's just say that. But she tried her best. She did a damn good job, even with the fact that she wanted the kids out of the water. Which, at first, like I said, it looked like she picked up a piece of glass. And it's like, okay, you're you're protecting these kids. Like, you really, truly care about all the pedestrians who end up coming to the beach and visiting the beach for the day or the week or whatever and such. And immediately getting those kids out because you never know what is in the water and such. And so, no matter where you go... um, People or, you know, things are just going to go in the water, whether it happens on accident or on purpose. And it really, truly sucks. We, from people who, you know, researchers and divers who go into the depths of the ocean and they see how badly the ocean is polluted. Or when you look from, like, news articles and everything to see ultimately how bad the oceans are polluted. Or even with the fact is, like, I think, what, just last night I watched this, like, three-minute video on TikTok about... Um, someone talking about clean water. I mean, yeah, about clean water. Water and that it's a possibility that we're running out of that. Because, like, let, let's a little, let's be a little serious before I go into this next episode. Let's talk about what the fuck is going on in the world today. Um, really quickly. We all know gas prices are going up. We still have COVID a risk, even though, like, some places, like, here in Florida, um, our mask mandate for us is going out. But I still wear my mask as much as I can. Not all the time, but sometimes I do. Like, if I'm going out with public places, yes, I'm going to wear it because I don't want to get sick anymore and it's like that. 
But we, like I said, the um, the prices of food are going up. Food, toiletry, anything is going up and such. And the same thing with gases. Even though, like, the price for gas is kind of declining from what the news said, like, I think, what, Monday or Tuesday afternoon. Um, but then they skyrocket up. So you can also indicate, not even with what's going on, but the clean water thing was they were telling, I think it was like, oh, my God, if I had it, I could literally show you. They had said the Saliba Shirley in like Antarctica and something that they were going to be running out of water soon. So I instantly messaged that to my mom and I was like, hey, we got to get water like ASAP. Like, we got water, but like, holy shit. Like, uh, I just, something just tells me in a really weird way that something worse is about to come and I'm really scared. Like, you just don't know. So I, I want to say this, like, please, 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 please be safe out there with what what the heck is currently going on with the world. Be careful. Make sure that you're, you know, you have enough. If not, go out, go get enough for at least like a couple of weeks or a month or so because like I said, you don't know what could happen today, tomorrow, two or three weeks from now. So always be prepared. But continuing on with this episode, like I said, she Inga did it to protect not only the ocean but also those kids. Thank God that, you know, <clears throat> Inka was able to get to those four kids in time using her tentacles but at the same time because something told me something was going to happen with those four kids because of the fact is they were kind of the quote unquote main focus of it because of the fact is all four of them were in that small little boat and how um Goro was like you know take turns two at a time whatever so I was like yeah something's gonna pop up with these four and then bam it happened but these three little mini shorts were really good. Like, oh, I, it would have been more, a little bit better. Like, even though Inka was like, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to get all these stamps. Okay, I want my fries. Like, Inka, be smart and just go every single day. And, you know, good things come to those who wait. <laughs> I'm just saying, but go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. Excuse me. Sorry. Do we have enough time, though? We don't have time, though. Uh oh Right? Choose to do? Cindy. Cindy. She's right, though.
<laughs> Perfect. He has to use the restroom. Mm hmm. Echo, I think you need more time, baby. Bo? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I can't. I mean, somebody needs to learn English, though. Oh. 
I wonder how the hell this is gonna go now. <laughs> oh my god. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> no, you're tickling her feet with your tentacles. Does she think that she's going to be able to tickle the hell out of Chizuru? Uh, of course, uh, Nagisa. I, I know. What hentai is? I mean, it's obvious, but. <laughs> hmm? Ma'am, no, thank you. You don't want that. It's not working though. Oh my god. Sonic! Uh oh, you, you got the hiccups? You're on your own. Shrimp.
Okay, so then what will happen if you get to 30 hookups? <laughs> okay. I bet. So, no more hiccups? Damn it. I'm scared. Girl, I thought so too. But your hiccups are gone. <sighs> uh, oh, I would have laughed if it came back. <laughs> Of course not. Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Baby, you got a rock in the boat. It's not going to float. No, let her find out, please. I know.
so like a such a cute little damn fair group. <laughs> oh, everybody start cheating. Even though I'm sleepy as fuck, this episode is adorable. Oh no, baby, go get away! The thing is going hella far. Oh my god. <laughs> Basically. Where the hell are we? In a day, that girl traveled from where they live. <laughs> well, you know what? She was having too much fun traveling with a little. <laughs> but she wasn't paying attention. Oh crap! I'm sleepy. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> Okay, the English portion of this episode was fucking hilarious. Like, my God. <laughs> trying to teach someone English. And then when you're also trying to learn Japanese at the same time, but you know Japanese. And <laughs> certain things are, you know, that language barrier and such. And you're like, oh, you meant this, but you actually meant this. We have all been in a moment where, like, okay, especially where I work, um, I get a lot of, uh, people who speak different languages. Mostly, I will get, um, a lot of people who speak Spanish. And so, it's a little hard for me to communicate, so sometimes I have to use, like, an app to say, hey, let me do it like this, and da 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 because, like, I, I don't speak Spanish. I know, like basic words and such but it is still like a, even with the basic words it's still a little hard to communicate with someone else who speaks an entirely different language 
and English isn't their first language. So the biggest thing that I've also learned about, and I learned about this even when I was in school, is to be patient with people. Don't be too hard on people because, yeah, like, not everybody's going to get it the first time. It takes a little while for someone to retain information on learning a new language because it, it's hard. Like, as someone who knows, like, same thing with the, with Japanese. I know words and phrases and everything, but I can only... The only full sentence I can give you is me introducing myself to someone and that's it. Or, like, you know, um, excuse me, where's the restroom and stuff. Um, because I remember, like, I told my mom what I, uh, I said, like, excuse me, where's the restroom, where's the restroom and such. And so my mom looked at me like she was crazy. And she's like, what'd you just say? So I was like, I said, excuse me, where's the restroom and such. Or could you point me to the restroom and stuff. I was like, that's probably going to be like the one thing that you're going to need to know. Or, you know, excuse me, where's the train? Da, 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 da. Do you know directions? Even though like now with our phones and stuff, you can sit and, you know, ask your phone to like go like that and such. But yeah, still, I really enjoyed this. I thought it was very different. I love the fact that, you know, we got another episode where, you know, Inka got to spend time with Takedu because, I mean, you know, sometimes we don't get every episode with Takedu and he is sometimes maybe like, like the background character of such. But yeah, it was very enjoyable this week. You made me laugh, you and everything else in between. Even with Sane, you know, being Sane like freaking always, of course. I'm still wondering that girl what all oh, it was just paying attention to her little boat and literally went from one place to the other. You didn't look to notice that certain things didn't look the same, Inka. Like, oh my god, baby. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of season two of Squid Girl. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.